Hey guys, a Fembot look from Austin Powers. I am doing some inspired by these photos. As you can see, it's a thick, dark black eyeliner, um, some purpley pink eyeshadow with a line up from the bottom lash line um, along the cat eye, so to speak, or the wing. Um, so I'm using Vivid Mood, Vivid Mood. <laughs> and Deviant um, in the Bloodless palette. I wanted to do something a bit more dramatic because their makeup to me is just a little lackluster. That was obviously wasn't the focus of it, but I wanted to give the full dramatic interpretation, I suppose. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy, but How's everyone been doing? Um, I'm living. Um, that guy that I was talking to, I ended up falling in love with him. And then um, I was like, he's like no other guy. I've never met anyone like him. And he ended up blocking me and going back with his ex. So, yeah, but I made friends with his roommate when I broke into his house because I thought he was dead. So anyway, I'm done dating, so there's that. <laughs> um, I'm just blending out this dark line here because I thought it was a bit harsh but like I said, I wanted to be wanted it to be a bit uh, more dramatic than the movie. And a bit more saturated, I suppose. I'm using the Catrice concealer, the camouflage, as well as the prime and fine primer. With this uh, foundation, I'm using the Conceal and Hydrate foundation, and it's honestly hilarious. Like, wait till you see the end result. I'm shook that I'm so fucking pale. Like, the color difference is absolutely absurd. I don't know what the fuck was happening. Um, this is the same color as I use in the Conceal and Define, but this is the Conceal and Hydrate. Look, I look like fucking Uncle Fester. So I was like... Give me a minute. Let me see if I can do um, some powder over top. So I used some MAC Studio Fix powder. Um, and I used the Marc Jacobs Omega Tan um, bronzer in Tantastic to bring some color back to my skin. So it didn't look so scary in the end. <laughs> Also, I totally forgot to mention that the black eyeshadow I'm using is from the ABH Sultry palette. Um, and I'm using that under my eye for that line up beside the wing. Um, and I go back in with Vivid Mood under my eye as well too. Um, so I'm just using that Marc Jacobs bronzer. Um, the girls in the movie didn't really have um much color on their cheeks it more so looked like just a darker version of their skin maybe like a bronze uh, blush so I wanted to give a little bit of that I ended up using a blush that was far too pigmented I was like let me blend this out with some face powder And then I'm just going ahead and doing that line up. I've seen a lot of um, versions of this where people are doing like really mod 60s looks. And that's, they're gorgeous. And that's kind of like what Austin Powers is supposed to be based on. But the girls in the movies didn't have 
you know, those spiky bottom lashes or a twiggy cut crease. Um, so I wanted to do something a bit more true to the movie, just more dramatic. And something more to my face shape because my head is much larger than the girls in the movie. So when you scale something up, you kind of got to scale up everything else too, you know. <laughs> but whatever. Um, that's the Jeffree Star Velvet Trap lipstick in Naked Body. It's nice. It's a lipstick. I'm not like a chemist, so I don't know what's different about it, but it's a lipstick. Then I put some white in that triangle there between the top and bottom line. And I w really wanted to give a lifted appearance, so I'm just lifting up those outer corners of the lashes. But that's pretty much it. I didn't really put any highlighter on because they didn't have any on in the video, but in the movie, but I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!